So we're improving theorems with GX Web, the um, free browser-based version of geometry expressions. Um, the theorem we're going to prove here is uh, going to show that the product of the segments into which the side of a triangle is divided um, by the foot of the altitude is the same as the product of the lengths of the sides of the orthic triangle passing through the vertex considered. The orthic triangle is just the triangle formed by the three feet of the altitudes of the triangle. Okay, so we'll draw a triangle. Uh, it's an arbitrary triangle, yeah, nothing particular about it. And um, I like to put in the lengths of the, the triangle. I'm constraining these lengths to be A, B, and C. That's symbolically A, B, and C, but uh, numerically these have values uh, we can actually uh, tinker with the values. Or we can free up A, B, and C, which means that um, if I drag B, those values will change. So I need now to create the three altitudes, which I can do using the perpendicular constraint if I uh, select uh, a point and a segment that will create the altitude. So now the thing I want to do is look at the two sides of the orthic triangle. This is the triangle DEF. I'll just draw two of the sides. I'm going to look at the product of EF times DE and compare that with the product of BE times CE. Now, this is my numeric panel over here that I have open. Let me just do that in the numeric panel so that we can see the difference between the numeric and the symbolic. Um, so here I'm going to put distance BE. times distance as CE. Uh, we see that it gives us a number, 21.512. Of course, that number um, it changes as I go uh, B, move B around. Um, let me now put the other quantity we're looking for, distance. Uh, Fe times distance DE. Uh, we can see those those are in fact the same and um, numerically the same, and that means that they're the same for this particular um, for these particular values of A, B, and C. It doesn't say anything more general. Now, of course, we can move that around and see that in fact it's true for quite a lot of different values of A, uh, B and C, but it's still not in, in any sense proving um, the theorem. It's illustrating the theorem. To prove the theorem, what I need to do is go down to our symbolic uh, panel down here, where we're going to deal with general A, B and C. Um, so I'm going to look at distance. Um, Fe times Ed times distance and so we see that now in terms of A, B and C and we're going to do no, small A, B and C first we're now going to look at distance B, E times this is EC. Uh, 
Um, well, uh, the symbolic distances aren't at uh, first glance obviously the same. Um, we could do a little bit of algebra and multiply this out, or we can have JX Web do the algebra for us by asking for the difference between these two quantities. And uh, the system gives us zero. Um, frequently we short circuit this and do the, the very straightforward um, computation uh, of, of the end result and getting our zero. But we have to be careful that the zero here is not the same as uh, putting exactly the same thing into the numeric panel and getting out zero. This zero is just uh, got by subtracting these two numeric quantities and it's only valid for the specific values of A, B and C. This zero is got by subtracting these two uh, symbolic quantities and is a uh, uh, a more fundamental zero, if you like.